Why is autofill even a thing? The blue pilled answer is to lower queue times. The red pill answer is to fix games. Auto pill, autofill is something that is in the game for the sole reason, and legitimately the sole reason, of Riot justifying why your team will have four fills and the enemy will have zero. Like, that's the only purpose of autofill. It's not there to actually reduce queue times. It is just there, so that it is easier for them to match fix your games. So you can maintain 50% rate. Right? Is there not going to be a race on the new split start? Well, the thing is, the new split is supposed to start on the 18th, right? And I made plans that Korea grind starts the 23rd. Because I said, uh, the new split, it should only take about three days to hit Challenger, right? But... The problem is, with this new edition of Emerald Rank, I don't know if it'll actually take more, so... I don't know. I might have to cancel the split start race, I'm not sure yet. They're making new Emerald, but no promos? Okay, but this is the thing that you have to understand. Day 1, people are gonna start, and they're normally gonna end around D1 to Masters. Say Masters 50 LP. Day 2, if they're playing well, they'll normally end around, like, 250 to 300, typically. And then that's why it's day three, where you hit challenger. Like day three is like you hit chow, right? Because it's like 200. But the problem is that with the new edition of Emerald rank, the addition of Emerald rank, if Riot makes it so that players still start plot one instead of Emerald one, then what's going to happen is that your first day, you're going to maybe hit plot one to D4. So it adds an entire other like an entire extra day to the climb and if you add an entire extra day to the climb i don't think we have time for it do you think low master players will still be masters when emerald is the thing see but that's the thing i don't know because i don't know what's right what riot is doing for placement ranks if riot still makes it so that every player starts pot one then if someone tenos their placements they're gonna start emerald one not diamond one so it's going to make it so that people will actually have to climb through diamond instead of just be handi instead of being handed masters like free, right? So I think there's definitely a chance that if this goes the way I think it will, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that players start plot one instead of emerald one. And if this happens, then we could look at an unironic reduction of 60% of masters players. Most people are going to be hard suck diamond again instead of being hard suck masters. And instead of Challenger being a 1,000 LP, it'll probably end up being, like, around this time of the season, like, let's say a 600 LP cutoff. Rank 1 will never again be 2,000 LP. So that's why I'm just praying, I'm praying that, you know, Riot actually does this properly. Because if they do it properly, then it could unironically fix the issues with the lower ranking, as well as higher ranking. But it needs to be done well. And that's the one problem, is that if there's one thing Riot's, like, well known for, it's that they don't do shit well. I am playing League on mobile, and Emerald is irrelevant for high rank players. You didn't listen to anything I said. Okay. Platinum, Emerald, Diamond. Correct? Right now, players who have capped MMR start Platinum 1, and if they win not even 10 games, but eight games in a row, they are already diamond one. Okay? So someone who ends the season, masters 100 LP, starts the split, instantly, they are diamond one with eight wins. If Riot makes it so that now you sit there and instead of starting platinum one, you, or let's say you still start platinum one, but now there's emerald, right? then instead of players being given Diamond 1, they're being given Emerald 1. And they still have to climb through all of Diamond before reaching Masters. And by the time they reach Masters, they will not have their inflated MMR, which makes it so that Masters players won't just be gaining like 30 to 40 LP a game from a day or two into the season. What this would end up doing since players, right, have to t spend more time grinding, right, and they're starting from a lower point, then some players that are currently masters would never even make it out of diamond.
This means that over time, just the simple change of making people start an entire tier lower would make it so that the master's rank inflation they hear a lot of people talking about ceases to exist. Because people can't be inflated to masters since all their inflation is spent going through emerald and diamond. Is new rank changes good for us low elo scrubs like a silver will be gold? I'm going to be completely honest when I tell you this. It completely depends on what Riot does. I can't tell you. Because if Riot makes it so that every player now starts plot one and they have to climb through Emerald, then what Riot is essentially doing is they're going to make it so that it's harder for players to get higher elo, which means that right now all the players that are like diamond level would be hard suck, let's say Emerald. All the players that are hard suck Emerald, they'd go down to hard suck Platinum. So unironically, it all completely depends on what Riot does. Adantis, they did this in Val with the Ascendant rank, just what they did there. No, 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 no now there are different ways to like separate, okay, who's immortal, who's ascendant, who's all these like different bullshit ranks, I don't even know what they are because I don't play the game, right? But the thing here is, it would be like imagine right now, let's say you're playing on a fresh account, okay? And right now if you win 10 games, you start like silver one, okay? But then Riot says, we're gonna, we're gonna introduce a rank, right? Um, where what we're gonna do is, now if you win 10 placement games, instead of being silver 1, you're gonna be like, I don't know, fucking like, copper 1, right? Perfect. Let's get money. So, what would happen is, people would start copper 1 instead of silver 1, and now all those players would have to gain an extra 400 LP, right? It just depends. The, the whole thing about Emerald is that it's gonna be harder for lower elo players to hit diamond, but it could also be harder for everybody to get a higher rank depending on if the higher level players start at a lower level rank. That's what it depends. Emerald is basically going to be the humans from Plat and the ship players from Diamond. Yeah, exactly. But you know, you know what that does, right? Is it means that by now having this discrepancy, by, by proxy, it just becomes harder for you to get higher low ranks, right? D4 used to be top 1%. I remember that. And do you want to know why? Over time, it changed because of artificial rank inflation. That's why. Because what Riot did was they removed the division five of every rank. So now, if someone made 500 LP of progress, instead of going from diamond five to master zero LP, they go from D4 to masters 100 LP, right? And it's not like they did anything different. They just made the same amount of progress, but now they're more like rewarded for no reason, right? All the changes that Riot's made in recent memory have all, 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 all been for the benefit of people thinking they're improving when they're actually not. And that's why I'm hoping that this Emerald rank is the first thing where it's like, it changes shit. Because there's a chance that this could, unironically, this like Emerald rank could save Hilo. Like, not even like saying that as like a meme thing like, oh yeah, Hilo saved. No, no, like I'm being serious. Like it could actually save Hilo. I got all down. I was pot two last season. Now I'm diamond one. Is that because of elo inflation or did I improve? Well, listen, there's no such thing as elo inflating yourself by like that much LP. So like you definitely made some improvements. But the thing that you have to understand is that like, let's say you would have made the same amount of improvement that you did this season at a skill level years ago. Instead of going from pot two to like diamond one, you would have went from pot two to let's say diamond diamond three. Okay, like diamond three or high diamond four. Because nowadays you don't have to deal with promos in between ranks, right? In between like four, three, two, one. You don't have to deal with diamond five, right? So it's like, that's the thing. It's just one of those things where you, you are making improvements, but you just think you're making a lot more improvement than you are, right? Maybe I could go for a fight here.
perfect. Now we can just Baron. I don't know if I would have ulted for Gragas, and it just secures us Baron Satsu, so I want to do it. Okay. We just need to make sure that Riven doesn't ace us here, guys. Literally, that that's like our only win con, by the way. Perfect. Easy. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I'm actually 1v9ing this game when I was actually paying like zero attention. They're basically just making a new jail for all the D4 players, it seems like. Yes, but it's it's way more intense than that. Because essentially what they're doing with all the rank changes is they're not just making it so that it affects like D4 players. Because if it affects the D4 players, it affects everyone higher up. It's like imagine you have a, a, a cup tower, okay? And you remove a cup at the third thing and everything else just falls down one cup. That's essentially what's happening, right? It's like you go up to a cup tower and you remove a cup and now every cup is just like way lower to the point where it's like it affects everything from the bottom up. Does this make sense? That's what these rank changes could do. But again, it's contingent on Riot sitting there and saying that people still start Platinum 1. If people start Emerald 1 as the highest rank, then it's fucking over. Hilo is ruined for another season. So this is the thing. It's like that's what it's, uh, it's contingent on. I mean, if we just hit this, perfect, I don't even die. <gasps> Pog! We actually won the unwinnable game. It's fucking lit.